Hey everybody, it's Julie. Um, I have a haul that I wanted to share with you guys, but before I did it, I just want to kind of just touch on something that I noticed has been happening, not only on my videos, but on lots of other people's videos that um, I frequent, that I watch. I've noticed that people have been really using the thumbs down feature, and um, I just, you know what, I don't really understand why. I guess I probably never will. And normally I wouldn't even make a big deal about it uh, because a lot of times when you don't talk about things, they tend to go away because, you know, the people who are doing them, who are doing the action that uh, you don't want to give a reaction to, uh, you know, they're kind of like bullies and, you know, they'll just go away if they're not getting that reaction from you. But I wanted to just, you know, kind of touch on it because I noticed that um, not only mine, but a lot of other videos that I've been watching lately, people have been thumbs downing. And I can understand a thumbs down if it's something that's really controversial and you really don't agree with it. But to thumbs down someone's personal work um, is really ridiculous, you know. You can express your opinion all you want. I have no problem with that. But um, there's really no need to attempt to make other people feel bad about showcasing the projects that they're working on. And, I, you know, honestly, I'm not talking about the things that I do because I have very thick skin and I don't let a lot of things bother me. But I know that a lot of people are really getting bothered with it lately. So if you honestly feel like you need to give a thumbs down to someone, you should probably take uh, some advice that my mother gave me a long time ago. And it's, if you don't have something good to say, then you don't say something, anything at all. And uh, you don't have to leave a comment and you don't have to leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down. You can just walk away and not watch those videos again. So I just think that everybody needs to keep that in mind. All right? Ugh. Okay, enough for the heavy stuff because, you know, I'm not really like that. But I just felt like I needed to say something because I have noticed it a ton lately. You know, on just any kind of videos, people are just showing uh, projects that they're making. And people are, you know, there's two or three thumbs down on it. And I'm thinking to myself, well, what is the point in thumbs downing someone else's work? Does it make you feel better about yours by, you know, saying something else isn't, someone else's projects aren't what you like? Wouldn't it just be easier just to move on and not say anything at all? Okay, I swear, that's enough. No more talk about that. Okay, so this haul is um, a Blitzy haul, and it's just a small haul. Just picked up a couple things this week because they had um, Tim Holtz dies and... They had one that I really wanted, and it was pretty inexpensive, so I picked it up. And then I also got some re-inkers, because I like to have those on hand, not only for, um, you know, to re-ink my ink pads, but also for um, projects where I want to the extra color, or want to paint some color on, or something like that. So, let's see... Okay, so I got the Chipped Sapphire, the Wild Honey, the Aged Mahogany, and the Spiced Marmalade. Those are the, um, dis are the distressing refills that I got. And then I also picked up earlier in the weekend, I didn't do a haul because it was just re so It was like sponge sugar. Um, I'm not really, I can't remember now which the other ones were. Let me check here. The other ones were mustard seed, because I wanted a good yellow, um, sponge sugar, brushed corduroy, and milled lavender. And then what I got, because I really, really wanted it, and I wanted it for a long time, was this, um, the vintage valise uh, suitcase die. 
and it's really big. I didn't think it was going to be this big, but it's really big. It's probably like four by six, and then it comes with all the goodies, you know, all of these things on the outside. So you can definitely make a mini with this. Be super cute for a travel mini. So that's what I picked up from um, Blitzy. So I hope that you guys are having a great day. I also got my design team package from Pro31's Designs, and I'll be doing a video on that later today. All right, have a great day. Bye-bye.